Good morning. It's Cassandra Mack here from StrategiesForEmpoweredLiving.com and CassandraMackMinistries.com with another Walk With Me video as we walk in the Word. So today we're walking in Greenwich Village and I want to talk to you about how to build authentic, steady, unbreakable confidence. And our scripture is going to come from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35 which says, do not throw away your confidence for it has a rich reward. So sometimes when our lives are not working out the way that we anticipated, when we are going through adversity or a challenge, when we're not reaching our goals in the timetable that we anticipated, or when we're comparing ourselves to others, especially on social media, our confidence can take a beating. But the thing to know about confidence is authentic, true confidence, confidence that comes from God, is that the world cannot give you confidence, authentic confidence, which means the world cannot take it away. And so it's interesting that the scripture, Hebrews 10, 35 says, do not throw away your confidence for it has a rich reward. So the fact that the scripture says, do not throw away our confidence, lets us know that we all start out with a measure of confidence. Everything starts as a seed. And it's up to us to be vigilant and diligent about not throwing our confidence that we have away. So it starts as a seed, and remember, seeds have to be planted in fertile soil to grow. If I took a tomato seed, and I put it in a beautiful crystal vase, no matter how beautiful the vase was, the seeds would not grow into tomatoes because they're not planted in fertile soil. And so in order for us to cultivate the confidence that God puts inside of us in seed form, is we have to be diligent about planting our confidence in the fertile soil of a renewed mind, right? The Bible says be transformed by the renewing of our mind in the fertile soil of knowing who we are in God. So it's gonna be hard to have authentic confidence if we don't even know who we are. That word confidence means self-assurance, to believe in oneself, particularly in one's capacity, potential, and abilities. But if you don't know what you have the capacity to do and what your abilities are and what your potential is, according to what God says in his word. How can you build what you don't even know you have? Even if we only have it in seed form. And so it's important to study that word so that you can begin to know who you are in confidence. And then from that, you can begin to build from there. And in addition to studying the word, I would encourage you to pick up my book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am, which is a book of Bible-based affirmations that speak to who we are in God. And so what that book does is it takes 25 specific affirmations that speak specifically to our identity. So it takes 25 scriptures actually. So it's 25 scriptures from the Bible that speak to who we are in God. And it shows us how to affirm that scripture for ourselves, and how we can begin to walk that scripture out. So when we say things like, I am fearfully and wonderfully made, why is it important to affirm that we're fearfully and wonderfully made by God? How would you carry yourself if you truly believe that you were fearfully and wonderfully made by God? How would you set boundaries? How would you show up in rooms? How would you go after the things that you desire to have in life if you truly believed you were fearfully and wonderfully made? If you believe that you're the head and not the tail, the Bible says that about us. And so being the head and not the tail means that we are designed for leadership. And the first place that leadership starts is being a leader of ourself by managing our thoughts, stewarding our emotions, and being disciplined in our behavior. And so it's being a leader of ourselves, governing ourselves. And so we all have those seeds but we have to cultivate those seeds. We have to nurture those seeds. So the scripture says, do not throw away your confidence for it has a rich reward. So if you think about a toddler, 
A toddler starts out with seeds of confidence. A toddler does not ask permission to start learning how to walk. The toddler just stands up, realizes that he or she can stand, takes the first step, and keeps stepping. No matter how many times a toddler falls, no matter how many times a toddler bumps into things or pull things down and those things bump into the toddler, no matter how many people laugh at the toddler when they fall, the toddler keeps getting back up and keeps trying and will keep trying, keep getting back up. And so we all have that measure of confidence to keep trying, keep getting back up and to take the first step, whether it is the first step towards sobriety, the first step towards a goal and a dream, the first step towards setting a boundary, the first step towards reinventing yourself, the first step to filling out an application, the first step to starting out a business, whatever area in your life where you are making strides and you desire to make some changes and implement some new things, we all have a measure of confidence. So that's important to know that we have that measure of confidence. So do not throw away your confidence, right? For it has a rich reward. Here's the other thing I wanna say about our confidence. And that is that comparison is the thief of joy. Not only is it the thief of joy, it is the thief of our godly confidence. Because the only authentic comparison we should be making is the one that we make against the person we were yesterday. The comparison that we make against our own potential. That is the, conf that is the uh, comparison that we, ne we need to make. And so when you're watching somebody's page on social media and they're posting these beautiful photos of their wedding, a trip they took to an exotic location, a high-end purchase that they bought, what we don't see are the low lights. We don't see that. And so you're only getting a filtered snapshot of that individual's life and you don't even know how much of it is true and how much they're fronting. So I'll show you the garbage truck. That's the noise, the garbage truck passing by. So we're getting a very filtered piece of that person's life. So here's the other piece. The scripture says, do not throw away your confidence for it has a rich reward, right? So that lets us know that it is incumbent upon us to not throw away our confidence. Not only that, it lets us know that if we don't throw away our confidence, there is a rich reward that awaits us. So I wanna just share with you two rewards that come with not throwing away our confidence. And there are many, but I'm just gonna share two. So the first reward is the reward of the courage to try, the courage to take the first step. When you don't throw away your confidence, you develop the courage to try something new, to take the first step towards something that you wanna do or pursue. You develop the confidence to do that. So let's say that you want to start your own YouTube channel. And you say, you know what? I'm gonna take the first step. I'm going to think about what it is I wanna talk about. I'm going to figure out some topics, maybe the first three or four topics that I'm gonna talk about. And it doesn't have to be in this order, I'm just giving you an example. And then I'm gonna actually make the video and put myself out there. That takes courage. Because there'll be people who love you and you will have haters as well can't worry about that so if that's in your heart to try you definitely want to move forward towards that so that's the first thing right that's a reward the reward of taking the first step towards a goal a dream a change you want to make in your life maybe taking the first step is going to an AA meeting right so that's a step so another reward of confidence is a completed task so one is taking the first step so we're going into Washington Square Park now for those who have never seen Washington Square Park so one reward is taking the first step and a second reward is a completed task so let's let me give you another example so let's say that you want to write a book 
and you take the first step. Every day you set a certain amount of time. Maybe you get up first thing in the morning or after you put the kids to bed if you're a parent and you dedicate an hour a day to writing. And then it's 30, 45 days later and you have a completed manuscript. And so the reward of having the confidence to take the first step and not only take the first step, but to actually do the task of writing each day, you now have the reward of a fully completed manuscript. That's a reward. You can look at something that you've completed and you know that you have that. So that is a big deal. And then from that manuscript, you can decide, you know what? I'm going to either submit this to publishing houses and see if I can get a publishing deal, or I'm gonna fund my own book and I'm gonna self-publish. So that all came out of cultivating confidence, believing in your ability to actually write your book. And if you know who you are in God, right? God tells us that he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind. And so if you know that about yourself, that you have a sound mind, a mind with the capacity to think logically, creatively, resourcefully, that is going to shape how you move through the world. It is going to shape the courage that you develop to try new things, to reach and strive towards your goals. And now you've got this book that you were gonna put out there. But it all started with you not throwing away your confidence. Now you have the reward of the book, the reward of the YouTube channel. And you're starting to see that you have subscribers. Even if you start out with five people, you gotta start somewhere. You lose one pound before you lose 20. That's the principle with life or you have the completed task of being 30 days clean and sober as a result of the first step, the first try of going to the AA meeting. These are all fruits of your confidence. These are all the rewards of your confidence. So remember, we all have seeds of confidence, every single individual, but it is up to us to cultivate these seeds of confidence. And I, again, in addition to the Bible, I would encourage you to pick up the book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am, so that you can begin to build authentic self-esteem. And this seems like a great place to end with a prayer. And then I wanna share some upcoming announcements with you. So let's pray right by this beautiful, beautiful, fountain. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to not throw away our confidence. Help us to know who we are in you. When the enemy tries to war for our mind and try to still kill and destroy our identity in who we are in you and who the Bible says we are in you, help us to cast down those lies, those imaginations, and to grab hold of the truth of your word of who we are in you. If we have been told or made to believe or bamboozled to believe that we are anything other than who your word says we are, help us to begin to shift away from those toxic, counterproductive, demonic beliefs and to embrace what the Bible says concerning who we are in you. If we were raised by a parent who was unwell or narcissistic or a caretaker who was unwell or narcissistic or we've been bullied to believe we were nobodies help us to begin to grab hold of the deliverance you have for us so that we could grab hold of our confidence and begin to cultivate that confidence help us to begin to enjoy the rewards of not throwing away our confidence the reward of trying something new the reward of reaching for our goals the reward of striving for our dreams, the reward of completing a task, the reward of getting healthy, getting our mind right, and all the beautiful rewards that come with not throwing away our confidence of who we are in you. 
we thank you and we seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. God bless. So I want to share some announcements with you. So I want to say thank you to those of you who came to our book club meeting on August 10th, 2023. We had an amazing time. We did a deep dive of the book Speaking Life Into Your I Am. If you missed it, you need to be at the next one. So we're going to have the next book club meeting either the end of October or the beginning of November. I will let you all know the flyer will be up within the next uh, week or two so that you can save the date and be there live with us. I also want to let you know that there's an upcoming event that I'm having in September and the date escapes me but it is on the header of the YouTube channel and it is a sip and journal so if you've ever been to a paint and sip it's the same concept except we are going to be working from my self-love workbook journal because you're worth it and we will be sipping now I'm going to sip on coffee tea or lemonade whatever you choose to sip on that's your business and so it is, uh, I believe it's September 9th. I believe it is September 9th, but I'm gonna double check. And, uh, cause I'm outside, so the, it, it escapes me. And it is a ticketed event, so you would need to purchase your ticket. And don't wait, cause you don't wanna miss these live events. They are amazing, you're gonna have an amazing time. If you are not yet a channel member, what are you waiting for? One of the perks of being a member of the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel is you also get to be a member of the Wednesday Wellness Club. Now the Wednesday Wellness Club meets the first and third Wednesday of every month by conference call telephone. And uh, we come together to focus on not just mental health, but mental fitness, emotional resilience, emotional stewarding, stewarding and uh, emotional health, self-care, well-being, all through a biblical lens. And what's so awesome, the feedback I've been getting from Wednesday Wellness Club members, people who have come to the Wednesday Wellness Club is what they absolutely love, is something that we do called 10 seconds to vent. So when we open up, before we get into our self-care topic at hand, we open up the floor for members to have 10 seconds to vent. So maybe you had a particularly rough week and you were like, oh, I had a rough week. My boss is getting on my nerves. My in-laws are stressing me. My family is driving me nuts. Who are these people? And you just need 10 seconds to release that so that you don't carry that the rest of your week and it interrupts your focus. One of the strategies or tactics of the enemy is to distract us, to keep us distracted with our own negative thoughts. And oftentimes when we're going through something, it's hard not to ruminate on how bad we feel. So you get those 10 seconds to just kind of let that thing loose, you know, get it off your chest. And then we keep that in mind as we pray for you. So you have people praying for you. Now this is available if you are a member of the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel at the second tier or higher, you get access to our Wednesday Wellness Club. I'm going to go in another direction because it's just a little deserted where I was about to walk. So I'm going to walk this way instead. So I would encourage you to do that. And uh, you also have an opportunity to connect with like-minded people. Like-minded people, that's important to have spaces to connect with like-minded people. And again, it is done by telephone conference call the first and third Wednesday for every month. If you are a member of the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel at the second tier or higher and it is way cheaper than therapy and it is very therapeutic so I wouldn't waste any time becoming a member if you know that you would like access to more than, than, than what is offered in our public videos so to become a member you should see a join button on any of the videos click on the join button and you'll see that there are three tiers of membership and so if you select the second tier or higher, you get access to the Wednesday Wellness Club, the Members Only Book Club, and special perks available just for members at the second tier or higher. If you do not see a join button, 
in the video description, I also will make sure to put the link so that you can just click on the link and make your selection from there. So with that being said, I think that's it for our announcements. And I want to, again, encourage you, pick up the book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am. If you have teenagers and they struggle with confidence, you know they had a rough year last year and they're getting ready to go to middle school or they're getting ready to go to high school or maybe they're going away to college and you want them to be reminded like, don't go buck wild. Remember who you are. Be reminded of who you are. Get this book for them as a tool that they can keep near and dear to their heart. So with that being said, be blessed and let us do our best to be a blessing wherever we go. God bless you. I love you. Thank you to all my members for supporting this ministry, supporting this channel. Thank you to the subscribers. Be a blessing to the channel. And if you are blessed by the content here, share the videos, share the videos, share them, share them, share them. Because there's probably somebody you know who's struggling with confidence. There's probably somebody you know who is struggling in a particular area and they need these edifying, empowering messages. And so, with that being said, have an amazing Saturday, and I'm going to continue my walk and get my 10,000 steps in. Thank you so much for coming on my walk with me. God bless.